The lawmakers are looking at new and innovative ways to get students into the workforce. The House Committee on Higher Education met this morning to discuss 3.7 million Texans that experts say are not getting enough academic attention. KXN's Anna Wernicke has more. Sometimes when we think about students seeking higher education, we tend to think of that 18 to 22 year old cohort, and that is no longer the norm. The new norm, according to Veronica Stidvent, is what she calls non-traditional students. They're the new majority in this state. They're older students, they're students who've taken a break from college, students who are working full time. And it's these students that Stidvent says could help the Texas economy. Texas has become a national leader in online education. Some of our Tuesday, Stidvent and other educators from across the state told lawmakers to focus on helping non-traditional students graduate, specifically nursing students. There continues to be a high demand for nurses in the Texas panhandle, which mirrors the high demand for nurses in the state. Lindy Shadbolt, professor of nursing at Amarillo College, says many of her students fall into the non-traditional category and have to drop out because they can't afford it or simply don't have the time. She says making the education system in Texas more affordable and flexible could fix the state's nursing shortage. I think this probably goes across the, across the entire workforce. And lawmakers seemed on board with the idea during Tuesday's hearing, fast track suggesting that a financial assistance program be put in place for non-traditional students. Anna Warnicke, KXAN News. Stidman says that Texas lawmakers also need to make education more affordable by offering more scholarships. A bill to create a needs-based aid program, but just for full-time students and degree programs, was introduced at the end of the last legislative session, but it died before advancing to the Senate.